See what positions they get. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, it's gonna be horizontal spawns. Spawning here on the top left side of Ruins of Ceres. He's on his last life. Down one point in the series. It's Dead Pixels Patience. In the top right as the blue Terran, it is alive. Hmm. Well, horizontal spawns, it might be a little more difficult to abuse that high ground for patience. But I mean if you're if you're gonna commit to a blink soccer attack, you just do it. I guess vertical would be the, uh, well, not even, like, there was a lot of, uh, we actually, <laughs> we got to cast that recently because we were casting the Cybet Race Wars, but, uh, on merry-go-round, it didn't actually have, like, that many abusive positions for Blink Stalkers, but people were sort of, you know, abusing Blink Stalkers by going into the natural, because there's so much area in the natural. If Patience really wanted to be that Blink Stalker guy, he could, and no matter what position on Ruins. But I don't think he's going to be so adamant about going for that. I think he has plenty of other options other than Blink Stalkers. If you want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah. Elias being that guy, Patience will call him that guy for going double gas. Yeah, but he's not going to scout it, unfortunately. Uh, some people actually asked about the auto turrets, though, and the dynamic of a raven. I guess we kind of glanced past it because the action was picking up, and we've just seen it a hundred times ourselves. But just in case we see it again, or just for general knowledge's sake, the raven was changed pretty significantly in Legacy of the Void. The abilities are all generally the same, but tweaked and balanced out differently. So, for example, the auto turret that you saw, it actually, some people were saying it was nerfed. Not at all true. In fact, it's buffed, if anything, because while it lasts significantly less time, it does the same amount of damage in that less time. So it hits for way more, it attacks way faster. The auto turret can be pretty damn good. What, what the fuck? Uh, the other aspect too, we, sorry, just to finish off that thought before we move on, the uh, the point defense drone only lasts like five seconds now or something. I actually don't remember the duration, but it's very, very short duration. So it was straight up nerfed. But yeah. if he's going to do this in the middle of the map and follow up with a starport, it's, it's entirely so that it doesn't get scouted. And I mean, that's cool, but how much of an advantage does that bring you? He also puts it in the middle, I think, because he, he had not scouted patience, so he didn't know if he had to go top, right. bottom, south. Or this may have been proxied a little bit closer, otherwise. Yeah, that that is absolutely true, and it is very like just bewildering as to why he would put it in the middle of the map. Now, if it's going to be a starport medevac drop, then that's going to get there a little bit sooner. But he puts the starport back at home, so <clears throat> it's like it's like seconds difference of you know boosting over, picking up the widow mine, and going in. If uh, this ha had been proxied, like, close to where Patience was, he could have walked the Wood of Mine in or tried to. Yeah, I actually, I like the Reaper check to make sure there wasn't going to be, like, a Stargate or something there either. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, and I feel, though, when Scarlet's putting a Villa's dank meme emotes in your chat and not sub to you, though. Right? Ugh. Shout out to Nathanius for being the true hero of all the people yeah. in chat, though. Go Nathanius. Sir 1, Sir 2. Okay, so Patience obviously can't get up here to scout. The The wall's going to be good. He has no idea that this Widow Mine proxy is coming. And as funny as it is, I mean, this is probably going to be more effective than a drop just because of the timing more so than the sneaky factor. Yeah, I love that he's still walking it in, even though it's uh, it's, like, it's he, not even that much closer. He distracts in the main, too. Like, he takes this the long way around. Patience oh, has no idea. Oh, pop. Three kills immediately. Kreslin69 just reset for 14 months. Thank you kindly for that. Uh, of course, there's more Widowmines where that came from, but it's following up with a Hellion next. Mm. Uh, we learned about the dynamic of Hellions with the depths, but not Stalker. Stalker's still uh, whatever. He actually cancels and picks up. Okay. So he's gonna, he is going to go through the Widowmine drop to the main. Patience. And... Uh, he's going to have detection, but you know what? <clears throat> he skipped a Mothership what? core to get everything down faster. So he's oh. not going to have overcharge for this. Oh, I was going to say, and the follow-up of the Liberator will be tough to deal with, but the Mothership Core not being here is patience. better point. I actually think he's going to get O2'd off this. I really hate to say it, but, I mean, two Stalkers and then not the damage that he needs to shut this down. Oh, God. The uh, the Marines, yeah, with the, with the help of the probes, I'm not so sure they'd be able to take on the Stalkers, but, um, you know, with oh, that healing shot. them, Nine pretty damn kills. good. They can just target down the probes. They could try and take on the stalkers. The no, Widow just Mine go for... is still in the natural, by the way. Yeah, just go for as many probe kills as you can. I mean, this was savage. 20 probes killed in total between all of this. I mean, this was cool out of life. I like this, but this this is not something I think is going to work every game. This did wreck Patience, though, because Patience did not see this coming. 
Uh, Liberator gets set up. This is going to actually secure the landing zone if he wants to unload more Marines. No. That probe is an inch from death every single time he returns his minerals. I know! It's like... It's like he doesn't know there's a murderer stalking him, right? Like, it's right there. <laughs> oh, oh he still gets shot, it! Oh guy. my god! That <laughs> widow mine was literally like a horror movie villain. Uh, comes oh. to the backside. There's actually... Oh. oh, you know what? The SimCity gonna play a little bit against Patience. I don't know if he can... He has to walk through the mineral lines to get to the Liberator. Uh, oh, I think blink, he may though. might right. be able to get around the Twilight Council too, but okay. Alive as Blink anyways. Counter pushing and we'll down catch the middle this of Yeah, nice blink. Patience, of course, needs these. Uh, now, you know, the whole thing for Alive, this was really cool to watch, and it was it was absolutely savage to pick up so many probes, but he, he, he is, it was two bases versus one, so until the command center is down on the natural mining, Patience isn't too poor off in this game. Uh, his income sucks right now, of course, and, you know, Liberator, Widow Mines, and low probe count, but still, just generally speaking, it's one base versus two. I guess um, a lot of attention is being spent back at home to deal with this Liberator, so he's not really getting too much fancy work done on the other side of the map. No. Uh, War Prism is going to allow him to get in the main base. Uh, once Alive actually plants down his command center, which should be soon, he has enough units, then he, of course, will be a little bit distracted covering that and not the main. <clears throat> this this game is, is not as bad looking as it was when you saw like you know 16 probes for patients uh, It was off of two base, so he was able to recuperate pretty quickly still being down in probe is not ideal obviously as mules play an effect here but uh, It is something that maybe he can recover from he has a large opportunity while you know the Marines don't have stim to try and micro against them, but that's where the tank really covers so Soccer's can't just poke in and, and poke out Yeah Tank position is kind of nice. Scans the observer. Ooh, but doesn't get it. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about that blink in, but it looks like it's going to be okay. Uh, as long as he can get out. Just barely. You know what, though? A, a lot of this going on. Oh, hello, SCV. Random. Uh, a lot of what's going on here for patients, though, is keeping alive at home, which was important because this was this was pretty aggressive with openings, and he took a lot of damage for it. And if there had been continued drops behind this while he played too defensive, I think, I think that would have been just even worse. So, well, this isn't accomplishing much. And it's not borderline all in, I win the game. It is better than sitting at home. Oh, for sure. The uh, tank count's still growing for alive. As you know, you, you make the first one, and it seems that you're just going to keep making them. In some situations, like, like, legitimately keep making them, like, up to 10 or 12. But in uh, many others, including games we saw earlier today from alive, he would go up to only, like, four, I think. Uh, currently at that count, so up to five. Stim is going to finish, so the blink game might not be so good anymore. I won't be able to snipe it. Thank God for alive for that because it's right there. <laughs> that was close. Seriously, if that thing was five seconds later, that would have been no stim. Uh, but now the army does not see the uh, alive's army pushing out. The observer will, however, and the blink stalkers have a tough decision. Try and come back home or try and continue harassing, but that's what the war prism is for. Doesn't do so hot. No, just does some fancy micro though. It keeps three of the four stalkers alive, but I mean, it's kind of almost this, this looks almost base tradey. Now, the nice thing about when you fight against tanks is coming in from behind and sniping them off. But this isn't this isn't tank wars. This is marine wars. Is the emphasis here? So warping in more depths, gonna try and deal with this. The stimmed army's a little too strong. Foot on overcharge is nice. Coming from the backside with the stalkers, blinks away immediately. Quite scared to advance in. Three overcharges are popped. There's only gonna be one more available behind this. Hmm. This is not looking good for patience. It's trying to it's get that tank so yet, badly. But yeah, it's it's not so good. It's the immortal did take out that first tank really quickly, otherwise it would have been a lot worse. Actually oh. blinks on top of the medevac almost gets the tank. It's both medevacs, however. Now this is a little tank. bit more manageable. Yeah, that was really nice. Alive's are like just you know wanted to retreat, should have retreated, but uh, nice control from patience to uh, stop him from bulking up too much. But that's still three tanks, three new medevacs. Combat shield on the way and an upgrade is finished. Patience is got try gonna try and get a disruptor out, which might help. I don't know. Oh, but this record was down. Uh, combat shield's still not done. Plus one does start for patience. That's gonna take a long time for that to finish. Disruptor pops out. Looks like Alive is going to pull back, I guess because of this harassment. Yeah, I mean, it's, 
actually you need four stalkers to kill SCVs, so this is just shy of being effective. Yeah. But uh, you can always pick up that war prism and just continue to annoy more than anything else. This is a little bit scary though. That's a lot of tanks once again, and patience didn't do so hot that first round. Kind of kind of locked out coming from behind. That disruptor may be what he really needs because if he can if he plows through the marines, he can easily blink on top of the tank. That's that's the really big detrimental uh, force here. And of course, uh, if you can get close enough that disruptor, you can't outrun the purification nova. Yeah, tanks are going to blink to the side. They'll try and focus them down. Though gets one, two of the tanks simultaneously. Again, no tanks means this is a lot more manageable for patience. But no oh. cannon, no disruptor. Soft cooldown in a few seconds, but it might get focused <laughs> down. He's running for his life. Probe should probably be sacrificed to keep that disruptor alive. He can fire that shot, but it gets killed. Patience Again. backed up at the corner of his base. Blake stock oh, is going ham. <laughs> no, nope. oh, that's still 19 probes lost through this. Even though he it, lives, he doesn't really live. You know what I if mean? If that disruptor had got like every single marine, that might have been like an, a counterattack opportunity, perhaps. Oh but. yeah, start warping in on the other side of the map instantly. But <laughs> no that was about to pop out. Patience's income is garbage. While this goes on too, he's yeah. got no mining going on. He's got no probes left. It does look like Alive is going to secure an O2 at this rate, or rather a 2-0. Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not trying to be negative Nancy here, but this is so scary. Poor patience. I don't know what he could do different. GG. Now, what I'm not luck. I'm not too morose about this. Alive is actually a fantastic player, and I think he's going to give us some... Like, his TVT versus Cure earlier today. Like, what the fuck? That one game, right? Um, I really think Alive is going to give us some great games with how Terran heavy that group is going to be. But again, we've got two invite slots left over at this point. Two invites that we can pick apart and figure out which race. Do we want more Zerg? Do we want more Protoss? I mean, I think we have no Protoss, right? 